Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play a kind of intermediate level finger style arrangement of Tears in Heaven. Really hope you enjoy the lesson. If you do, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want the full lesson and a tab, that is available down in the description. Okay, so let's get into this one. We have a capo placed onto the second fret and we are in standard tuning and the, the intro goes like this. So the first few chords there, speaking as if there were no capo, you've got a G. D slash F sharp, and then E minor. Okay, so if you G chord, just hold down the bass note, third fret on the sixth string, hold that down, play that, and then play the open third string, and then open second string, and then on the same string, hammer the first fret, and then pull off again to open. So on that second string, you've got. All right, and then once you've done that, play the third string open. So all together that is. And then it goes to your D slash F sharp. So that's the second fret on the sixth string and then really just a D chord on top, second fret on the third string and third fret on the second string. Play those all together, followed by just the bass and then just the second and third string. So it's like. Okay, and then it's E minor, but all you really need to do is play the second, third, and sixth strings open together. Okay, so like that. And that's the first bar, so. Okay, and then it's just the bass on its own, still on E minor, and then strings two and three, followed by bass again. So it's. Okay, and then it's a G chord or a G with a D in the bass, and here I'm playing uh, the fourth string twice, and then strings two and three open again, and then the bass, so the D string. So that G chord there is just, okay, so from the E minor, and you got that. That then goes to a C chord, so hold that down, and again it's strings two and three with the bass. So play those all together, followed by bass, and then two and three, followed by bass. So that's pretty simple. Okay, and then keep your first finger held on, but lift all your others off, and play strings two, three, and four together. Okay, so. Add the second fret on the top string, play that with the second string first fret, so, and then just that just goes to a G chord. So hold a G chord down, um, so third fret on the top, like that, and play strings six, two, and one, and then we just kind of arpeggiate the chord a bit. So I'll play strings four, two, and three, four. And then six, 
four, two and three, four. So it's just. So that's basically your four bar intro. Here it is again, nice and slow. So then you're into the verse, and it's pretty similar to the intro, but we're adding the melody now and a few fills in between the melody line. So it goes like this. Okay, so same chords as before, G, D, with the F sharp in the bass, E minor, C, G, okay, and then D with the F sharp in the bass again. So starting on this G chord, just like before, bass note, and then third string, and then we do that hammer on pull off on the second string, back to the third string. And then to add D with the F sharp in the bass, Exactly the same as the intro, what we've just learned. Okay, then we're going to play one more bass note on that E minor. And then there's this nice fill. Okay, so that there, double stop idea, third fret on the top two strings, play those together, and slide up to the fifth. Okay, and then back down to the, th the, the third. Okay, and then third fret on the second string with the second fret on the third string, play those together and do the same thing. Play them and slide up two frets. And then back down two frets. So you've got. Okay, then we're gonna play the fourth fret on the third string and then the third fret on the second string. So you've got. Okay, so from the start of the verse. Okay, so hopefully that's all right for you. That goes to a C chord and then a G chord. So on the C chord, hold that down and it's very similar to before. Play the bass note with strings two and three, followed by the bass and then two and three again. Here I kind of roll my fingers, like, like. So you can do that if you want to, like that, and then the second string once more. So like, then comes our G. So we move back to the bass note here, with the second string open. Then the second fret on the third string, open the third string, open the second string. That then goes to our D slash F sharp, but all you really need to hold down is the second fret on the third string and the second fret in the bass. Play those two strings together, followed by the bass, then the third string, and then the bass. And then we've got this little. So that's just open strings two and three, followed by the fourth string, and then first fret on the second string and second fret on the third string. Together, so like so that bar. All right, so from the C, if the song in heaven. So that's the first four bars of the verse. Okay, and then the second half of the verse is basically the same. So it starts on the G, just like before, to add D with the F sharp in the bass, 
to our E minor. Exactly the same as before, and then one more note on the E minor chord, the bass note. But this, instead of this fill, this time you've got a different one. So you're on the E minor, you play that last bass note, and then up on top you've got um, the top two strings together open, and then the second fret on the top, followed by the third fret. And if you want to, you could play the fourth string, uh, second fret. There's another bass note in there with that note. So like, if you want to, and then top string, second fret, and then open, and then third fret on the second. So it's like, okay, so from that D, it's like that. And that goes to our C, just like before. And then a G, just like before. And then a D, just like before. Because it's the same melody. So basically the second half of the verse is exactly the same as the first half, it's just that fill that's different. So here's the verse once more for you, and I'll play it nice and slow. Two, three, four. Fill. C. And then the same thing, just with a different fill here. So then you're into the chorus, which goes. written song. That's an E minor to start. Okay? And so hold that down and play strings two and three and six together. And then I'm just playing strings five, four, and then three, three. So like. And then the second fret on the third string. And then I go up to this shape here which I'm thinking of really is just a B chord, but I'm barring the fourth fret on the strings three and four, and then adding the sixth fret on the fifth string. From there, play the, the fifth string, and then five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four. So like. down to the fifth fret on the fifth string, play that, and then the third fret on the fourth string, play that twice. So nice and simple. Open third string, and then second fret on the fourth string, because we're going to an E chord. So that's like... Okay, so as you can see, I'm holding down this E shape chord here, and then I'll play the bass note of that chord, followed by the fourth string, and then I'll play the second fret on the third string. So. And then open second string, and then I'll quickly play that again, and hammer the first fret. Like that. And that's leading to an A minor, so we'll play the bass note of an A minor chord, then the fourth string, and then the third string twice. So. And then open third string, and then we're going to slide three, two on the fourth string, and then open fourth string. Okay, and then from there, you've got. So what I'm doing is, that's the first fret on the second string with the open third string. We've played the fourth string open. 
then play these two, so second and third string, with those fingers held down twice, followed by the fourth string, and then again strings two and three. So that's. Okay, and then we're going to slide two to four on the third string, and then back down on the same string to the second fret, play that twice. So. And then that's back to our G chord. So I'll play the third string open with the bass note of a G chord. Okay, so. So, back to the start of this section from the E minor. It is the intro. And till you get to this G here, and if you think back to the intro where we just landed on that G and went, we just arpeggiated it like that. This time we've got this nice lick. Before it goes straight back into another verse. So this lick here, we've come out of C and then to our G. Again, we play the top string and the second string and the sixth string together, and then the fourth string, and then strings two and three together, and then we've got our lick. So that lick, fourth string, open, hammer to two, same on the third string, and then on the second string we're going open, hammer to one, and pull off, so, so far. And then on the third string, two pull off to open, and then fourth string, second fret. So. And then we're straight back to the verse, and all I'll do on the verse is I'll play that second, sorry, third string with the bass. But then, you just straight back into another verse. I hope that all makes sense. So in this lesson, we've learned how to play the intro, the verse, and the chorus. There is also the bridge, which is the part. also that part to learn as well and a few other parts here and there so I'm going to be teaching you how to play the rest of the song over on my website so if you want to learn how to play it and get the rest of the lesson just follow the link through down in the, the description and you'll get the rest of the lesson right away so that's it for this lesson I really hope that you've enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like share subscribe check out some of the other videos I have here on my channel and if you really want to invest in your fingerstyle playing then try out one of my fingerstyle courses which you can do completely for free when you join my mailing list so if you're interested in that just follow the links through down in the description but until next time thanks a lot